Well, hello, Internet people. Welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to move your gas pedal. Now, you probably already know how to do that. But what I mean is I'm going to show you how to change the position of your gas pedal for better heel and toe driving. But what the heck is heel and towing, you ask? Well, let me tell you. Heel and towing is a technique that fancy race car drivers use on the racetrack when they need to brake and downshift to the next lower gear. But this can also apply when you're driving on your favorite back roads. And since we know that the natural habitat for a Lotus is either the track or your local twisty back roads, it's kind of a mystery why Lotus didn't set this car up from the factory as delivered with better pedal positions for heel and toe driving. So, sounds complicated, right? Yeah, it is, but it gets easier with practice, and it certainly is a lot easier if the pedals are in the right position. And that means when the brake pedal is pressed down hard, you should still be able to reach the gas pedal with the side of your foot. So when, it's, when the brake is depressed all the way, you want it to be kind of even with the gas pedal. So brake, and then even with the gas. And in a Lotus Elise, you can do this by raising the brake pedal back up or lowering the gas pedal or a combination of both. Now, I already raised the brake pedal up many, many years ago when I first got this car and started taking it to the track, but it was never quite enough for proper heel and towing. So today I'm actually gonna lower the gas pedal a little bit and show you how to do that. Now, I will say this can be a little bit dangerous. So if you do not know what you're doing, you should consult a professional because you're gonna be messing with the throttle cable and there is a chance you could screw it up, the throttle could stick open, and that would be bad. You'd have to, you know, control the car while it's, you know, you take your foot off the gas and the throttle sticks, that's always a bit alarming. Now, Lotus even specifies this exact procedure in the service manual. So they recommend for better heel and toe experience to make this adjustment. So this is an authorized thing, but if you don't know what you're doing, you should ask a professional. Now you're gonna need a handful of nuts and bolts in order to do this, and I'll put in the description of the video everything that you would need to do this process uh, and do this procedure. And the other thing that you have to do is you have to contort yourself to get up under the dashboard to do this. And although you don't have to take the seats out of the car like I have done here, it certainly makes it a little bit easier to get under the dashboard, and I actually already had them out for some other work that I was doing, so I figured might as well just tackle this project while the seats are already out of the car. This is a lovely and comfortable position. It's hard to tell, but it is a little bit past the throttle, the gas pedal. So what we want to do, rather than try to raise the brake pedal up even more, we want to lower that gas pedal a little bit. First, what we have to do is see where the pedal comes right here. This is called the up stop. And what we want to do is replace this little rubber thing with um, a bolt that spaces this out a tiny bit more than what it normally would be. And then what we need to do is replace this down stop, the stopper that actually stops the, um, stops the gas pedal from going too far. We need to replace that with a slightly smaller bolt so that it can go further. So we're basically just shifting the entire thing down a little bit.
right so once you have that done at the pedals which is a real pain in the butt you're going to want to come back here to your throttle body right here and what you're going to want to do i actually unclipped this line out of this little bracket right here um, but what you're going to want to do is get down in here and you want to break these two nuts loose and then you want to slacken off this one enough and then turn this one until this little stop right here, this is like your idle screw. <clears throat> Basically, after you do the adjustment at the pedals, this is gonna be sitting like this with a gap. You wanna adjust it so that it's back to resting on that screw, because that's about where your idle is. And now, in the factory service manual, it says to make sure there's about two to three millimeters of play at the pedal um, before it starts to actuate this. So what you're gonna need to do is get a second person to press on the pedal and kind of judge how much play is in there, how much slack is in there before it actually starts to move the throttle body. So once you have the throttle body all set the way that uh, it should be so that the car is idling normally and that there's a little bit of slack in the pedal before you start to rev the engine, um, you're going to make sure you tighten these two nuts down really well. And then that gets us to the last part, which we took this stop off at the bottom. This was at the bottom of the, um, it had this rubber stopper on in here. This was at the bottom of the gas pedal. And that actually stopped it from being pressed down all the way. Um, it actually stopped it against the firewall at the bottom uh, of the footwell. And so they recommended here in the Lotus service notes to replace this screw, which had these two nuts on it and this rubber stopper with a M8 by 20 screw. So that's what I have in here now. Let's see if I can get this rubber stopper off here one-handed. All right, so that's the 20, this is the 20 millimeter screw here. And I don't know if we need the rubber stopper still. I'm gonna put it on because I don't like the idea of, of this bolt just crashing into the um, aluminum footboards in the footwell. So I'm gonna put the uh, rubber stopper on anyway. And then that is gonna go in uh, back on the bottom of the gas pedal. Okay, so after you get the idle stuff all set and get those two lock nuts on the throttle um, on the throttle body tightened back down and you wanna have a millimeter or two of travel in the pedal before you actually notice the change um, because otherwise it's just too sensitive. It'll be really hard to modulate. But what I didn't know was how to set the full throttle. And what I'm gonna do is actually, I hooked up my OBD2 reader inside the car and I'm using an app called Torque. And what I'm gonna do is just snap open, like manually open the throttle body all the way and check the reading. So this is my idle reading for my throttle position, 11%. And if I open this all the way, see it goes up to 79.6. So what I wanna do now is adjust the stop, the bottom stop that's actually attached to the bottom of the pedal so that I get close to this amount. Um, so that I know I'm getting full throttle. Now I don't wanna get all the way here, I'm gonna actually do it a little bit less because I don't wanna stretch the cable or worry about snapping, potentially snapping the throttle cable or doing any kind of damage to it. So I'm gonna do it just a hair less than this, probably about 78.6 or 77.6, and that should be enough for full throttle. So, and that gives me a little bit of safety that I'm not stretching the cable uh, at the pedal. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's go ahead and check what it's at currently when we just put the uh, pedal down here. All right, so if I just mash the gas pedal all the way, you can see my little uh, Bluetooth thing there too. So if I just mash the gas pedal all the way down to the stop, I get about 75.3. So I think I could go 
a little tiny bit further and just to make sure that I'm getting absolute full throttle. It probably doesn't matter. Anything between 75 and say 82% on these cars is generally considered full throttle. You're not gonna get more air through the throttle body. It's basically gonna be open all the way, but I just wanna be sure um, that I'm getting the maximum acceleration and maximum throttle that I can without stretching that cable at all. So we're gonna try to go for about 77.6 or 78.6. So I'm just gonna make a little adjustment to the stopper at the bottom of the uh, gas pedal there. And it's just a bolt that you can screw in and out. And I put the rubber stopper on the bottom of it. All right, so I just made some adjustments down there at the pedal stop. And now when I apply full throttle here, let's see what we get. Getting 78.0. The other one, when I held it open back there was 79.6. So I actually think that that is pretty good. That should be totally sufficient for what we need. All right, so now just tighten up all those nuts. Everything's just kind of finger tight right now. And we're basically done with this modification. And as you can see, uh, well, ho hopefully you can see here. Now, when I am hard on the brakes, the brake is basically right even with the gas pedal and allows me to to blip it with the side of my foot there. So now when I'm hard, hard on the brakes, it'll be a lot easier. You can see the brake almost even with the gas pedal there. We're not gonna test full throttle with the engine running in the garage. Sorry. Happy heel and towing, everyone. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring the bell so you can get notified when we post a new video.